everybody, Scott here again from the Jostin Service Station. Yep, time for our monthly fill-up for the month of September. Coming up in a moment, we've got a great interview with an acclaimed professional photographer on how you can get better pictures in the yearbook this year. But first, some news. In our update last month, we told you about our cool Jostin's Replay It mobile app, a great way for anybody out there with a smartphone to send you their images for your possible use, and also you can entertain them with some pictures that you've been taking. Well, if you've checked the app recently, you've noticed that it is still listed as being in maintenance mode. Now, what that means is our Jostin's tech team, the best in the business, has decided to give the app a complete makeover, a real rebuild from the ground up. Now, they're doing this not only to improve performance now, but they're also setting the table for the future when we have some cool new features and improvements coming up. So we ask for your continued patience. Don't worry, it's coming soon. We'll let you know with some announcements when everything's ready to go. But in the meantime, don't forget your replayit.com website. That's running just fine. That's another easy way for people to submit their images to you, and you can possibly, again, show what you're doing. And speaking of that, don't forget, always keep uploading fresh images to your Yearbook Avenue website in the image library. Mark what you like to show on Replayit. That way, when the new app is ready to go, turned on, and people have signed up for your school, bammo. They'll be looking at lots of cool images that you've taken, and then off we go. Here in September, it's important to get the year off to a good start, and that means organization. Here's a tip. Here in September, still early in the school year, it's all about training and organizing your staff. Maybe put together some good learning opportunities with regular assignments that they're going to do all year. Some ideas, maybe a monthly or quarterly photo contest with prizes. Also things about selling business or personal ads. Book sales and promotion, that's pretty important. Page creation, writing, and maybe some other topics. Good training now in September will mean an easier time later on. You know, it's interesting how technology has really changed things just over the last 20 years. But one thing will never change in your booking no matter what. Pictures will always be the number one element of the yearbook. And yet, a lot of yearbookers still take rather dull or uninspired images despite all this new technology. Recently, we spoke with a veteran photojournalist and photo instructor on how you can up your picture game right now. Hello, my name is Mike McLean, and I'm a freelance photojournalist based in Dallas, Texas. The most important thing, and I think this is one thing that really lacks with our young photographers that are covering the high school event, is I want to know, I, I got to know what time the event starts. I have to know who the, the key players are that I want to be photographing. I want to know uh, the contacts, the people that we're featuring in the story. So what I try to tell my young photographers to do is get as much information about an assignment before you take that assignment on. And it may mean talking to an assignments editor, it might mean talking to a reporter. The more information I have going into an assignment, the better the photographs are going to be. Bring the next thing, and this is something that I learned from my old uh, picture editor at the newspaper that I was working at, he used to tell me, that there are no bad assignments, just bad photographers. It's that our, it's our job as photojournalists to go into an event, whether it's an academic event or whether it's a sports event or whatever it is, it may seem like it's boring, but there are all kinds of photo opportunities that are unfolding before your very eyes. It's our job to capture those photo opportunities. And that means that sometimes we have to make a photo visually interesting by finding an unusual angle. Sometimes it could mean that we're looking for an interesting expression. So that's, those are things that I just tell my students to look for. The other thing, whatever you're covering, I was, I think it's important that we cover an event from what I call a spectrum coverage. That means that we're not just covering the action of an event, but we're also covering the reaction of an event. So sometimes the action of an event is vastly more important than the reaction shot. Sometimes a reaction shot tells the story and the reaction shot is the photograph that we want to use that drives the, the, the narrative of the story. The very first thing I do when I walk in and I'm covering an event is I will shoot a wide shot. That means I'll stand in the back of the room and I will, for photographing like let's say a volleyball tournament, I will go up to the top of the volleyball stairs where the arena is and I will photograph a wide shot and then I come into an event and oftentimes the reason I shoot a wide shot is not necessarily that I want to use that, although many times that wide shot or in the world of photojournalism, we call that 
our opener shot or an intro shot, that shot gets used, but what it does is it sort of gets me into the character or the mindset of shooting photos. Then I'll go to a medium shot. So that will be three or four people. And if it's a before an event, and by the way, another tip for photographers that are photographing these events is that I always tell people the good photographers arrive early and stay late. So I'll get there as the basketball team is warming up and I'll shoot a wide shot of the arena with everybody there. And the thing that that does is it acclimates people to the fact that I want to be shooting photos. My high school journalism teacher required us to get a wide shot, a medium shot, and a close-up shot. And she would say, she would require us, even if it was a shot that was completely ridiculous, we, would shoot, we were required to get a wide shot. And she said, if you want extra credit, get verticals and horizontals. So we would get verticals and horizontals, and that really helped with the, uh, as we were developing the content or the design, so that we had a, a, a huge amount of images. What I generally tell students to do is to shoot photos until you know you have a moment. So that means that avoid scatter shooting. So that means that photographers, if you see something interesting that's unfolding before your camera, try to grab that shot and if you miss it never set it up the best thing to do is to wait for that expression to come back because you know we're all creatures of habit and if you wait long enough then you're going to get an expression that will bring back to bring bring that image back for you so it's like that's that's one of the essential things i tell my students to do is your wide your mediums your close-ups and be patient. Good photographers are patient. That means sometimes it takes 15 shots and sometimes it takes 100 shots. But ultimately the most important thing is to, to be on the hunt for moments. And moments are those things that evolve slowly. A big thank you to Mike for sharing his experience and his insights. Now, if you'd like to hear the entire half-hour interview with Mike, including a lot more on his three simple tips to immediately take better pictures and a whole lot more, check out our podcast at the address here shown on the screen. And while you do that, make sure to mark to follow our Yearbooking Report podcasts so you never miss an episode. Now here's a quick word about one of the greatest features on Yearbook Avenue, and it's something you absolutely need to use. It's the digital classroom, and some advisors have yet to even discover it. Whether you have a yearbook class or a club or maybe just a group of kids working, there are items in the digital classroom that will absolutely improve your efforts. The superpower in there is the search bar. Enter in a keyword or a topic and watch good results pop up on your screen. Here's an example. Enter the word cameras and you'll get some links to helpful materials on photography, on taking better pictures, and a direct link to our longtime photo partner and vendor, Wolf's Cameras. They offer regular sales on top brand equipment of all kinds. It all comes in a handy package, especially for yearbook staffs. Buy directly online, all the instructions are there, or work with your Jossens representative to make sure you get the photography equipment you really need. Well, that's all for this month. School is really rolling now, so let's go out and do some great storytelling out there, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>